we'll take a look at email triggers in Qualtrics and that will allow you to send emails to people when a survey is submitted in Qualtrics. You can even send someone's responses to them. So they'll get an email something like this. Let's take a look at that. First we're going to start by creating a new project. So in Qualtrics create a new project. I'll just choose a basic survey and I'll get started here. I'm going to name it Demo Email Triggers and I have an email triggers folder so I'll put it in there. Blank survey project, create project. I'm just going to add three questions. I'm going to start by a text entry question saying what's your name and this will allow me to use their response in the email trigger so I could send a message to someone with their name. I'm going to add another question, another text entry question and this one will be what's your email address. Now for email address, I want to make sure that they've entered a valid email address. So I'm going to actually do add validation for the email address question. So while that email address question is selected, I'm going to turn on the validation and I'm going to choose the content type validation, content type email address. This will just make sure that I have a valid email address. I might want to also make this question required so that I can have their email address collected so I can send responses to them. I'll add one more question here and this will be a multiple choice question and I'm just going to say what's one plus one. I'll click on each question or each, I'll click on each choice and choose a response, a number. I'm going to give four options here so I have one, two, three, four and that's my survey. Now, email triggers used to be under the tools, but they're not here anymore. They're now on the left-hand side under survey options. And then post survey and manage email triggers, edit triggers. The first time you open up the triggers for a survey, you'll get this empty trigger. So we're going to start by adding something like here are your responses because I actually want to send the person who filled out the survey their own responses. Now built into triggers is this include response report option. That's going to give me all of the person's responses. If there's a really long question text, maybe there's a paragraph explaining the question, then you might want to check full question text to see that entire question text. Otherwise it could be truncated. My questions were all short so it doesn't matter for this case. I also want to use the person's name so address it to them and I can do that because I collected their name in my survey using piped text. That's the A in the curly brackets so I'll click on this piped text. I want to hold my mouse over survey question and then find the question I want the answer for and that was what's your name and then finally I'll click on not the question text but the question again where it says what's your name and this will actually give me their response. So when I click on that it's going to put this kind of funny looking content into my email here and this is going to be replaced with whatever they fill in for name when they do the survey. So I'll use that, put a comma in, it may add some space there and that is going to look nice. Now I don't want to send this to me, I want to send this to the person who filled it out and I can use pipe text again to do that. So I'll click on the A in the curly brackets, the piped text icon and hold my mouse over survey question, what's your email address and click on question there, what's your email address and it will add in this content here which will be replaced with email address. Now I don't want it in the body of the email but I kind of have to start by putting it here and then I'll right click, choose cut and then I'll put my cursor in the to email address field and paste it in here. If I wanted to also send it to someone else I could put a comma after this and type another email address that will get kind of copied. You can specify who you want to say it comes from otherwise it'll just say no reply Qualtrics and you can change your subject otherwise it'll just be the survey title. As I scroll down there's a time option here where I can choose to send this immediately or I could choose different times. I usually just send the responses immediately. 
but I want to show a different option here. You can actually choose to send these triggers based on a condition. So in this case I asked what's 1 plus 1. I could send one email trigger to people who answer correctly and another to people who answer incorrectly, maybe sending them more information to learn for example. So let's pretend that this trigger is for people who've answered incorrectly. We'll click on add a condition and we want to do the condition by question and we're going to choose that math question, what's 1 plus 1. The correct answer is 2, so I'm going to select 2 from here and I'm going to say if 2 is not selected and in that case anyone who chooses a different option or doesn't answer the question will get my email trigger that I set up here. So I could include information in my response to please review chapter, wherever they might want to find more information that was not quite right and then I could create another email trigger and set a condition so it would go to the people who have selected, they did select the correct answer, they did select to, for example. In this case I'm going to remove the condition so it's sent to everyone. I'll get rid of that please respond there and just check this over a bit. It's going to send it to the email address entered in the form. I have a from, I have the subject here, my message is going to send and it's going to include the response report. I'll go ahead and click save and again it's a draft so whenever I make a change even if I've just updated the trigger I do have to publish it so I'll say version 1 with email trigger to all and I'll click publish. I'll copy that link and of course if I need to get that link at a later time I can find it under distributions anonymous link but in this case I've just copied it so I will paste and go to my survey and fill it out. Alright again this is going to go to everyone who fills it out so I'll submit it and choose any response there and here is my response. Alright so it, my name is now here instead of this choice text entry value option and it's here is your responses followed by this little kind of header section of information about my survey response and then the question text plus the responses I gave. Take a look at email triggers in Qualtrics